No, oh God, see, like, I want to eat, make this, like, video, but I'm just, like, going to keep on eating, like, chips. This is, this is not good. This is not a good, this is not good whatsoever. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Roger Former Show. My name is Roger McCorney. I'm one of your hosts for today. I'm actually, I am your one host for today. I've been in the bonus points mood recently, but... I want to talk to you guys about something that if you watch bonus points, I, mean, I don't know if it's going to come up before this video comes out or after this video comes out, but bonus points in the new episode, we talk about Ubisoft and how much money they're making, and I wanted to break it down. I want to talk my opinion, and I really wanted to get into the nitty gritty of what I really feel like, because I think it can be a little bit, interpreted a little weirdly in the bonus points podcast, so let's go first. Let's go, this is from PlaystationLifestyle.net, a uh, good website, and I'm going to read out some of the things that they're saying, some of the highlights of this um, of the quarter three financial report for Ubisoft. So let's go first. So here are some of the highlights um, as of PlayStationLifestyle.net. This is written by Jason Dunning. So uh, I don't know why I looked at the camera for that. Jason Dunning. So uh, the first thing first is the crew was the number one selling racing game released in late 2014, which I don't know what their competitors was, maybe Forza, but yeah, uh, that's a thing. Watch Dogs has sold over 10 million units shipped since last launch. Uh, and is the biggest new IP in the EMEA region, and the second biggest in the U.S., so that is probably next to Destiny. Uh, and the digital sales rose, rose uh, 157% during this quarter, which is probably because of uh, PC, and definitely because of PS4 and Xbox One's integration with that. Uh, back catalog sales rose 25.9% during, during this quarter, probably because of Steam sales and stuff. Uh, PlayStation 4 was the number one pl platform for Ubisoft in quarter three, ga um, garnering 34% of all sales. Xbox One was, with tw was second with 23%. Uh, but this is the bigger part here. Ubisoft now claims a market share of 12.8%, up from 9.6%, and the performance of Assassin's Creed Unity and Rogue combined to ship 10 million units um, in the overall uh, Assassin's Creed genre. So all the Assassin's Creed sold 10 million units. Far Cry 4 has sold uh, shipped 7 million units. Actually, no, Unity and Rogue sold 10 million units. Far Cry 4 shipped uh, 7 million, and the crew shipped 2 million units. Uh, yeah, and then, okay, and then, of course... 58.55.8% uh, uh, up uh, in quarter three. They're up. Uh, yeah, Ubisoft is doing really good this year, and I'm not going to be throwing stones here and saying, "Hey, Ubisoft, you're doing great." Bye. I hate you so much. I'm not going to do that. Congratulations, Ubisoft. You deserve it. But I'm going to say this: If you're going to be buying a video game that you see on the internet that it runs poorly. That it's a bad video game, that you don't, it has practices that you don't believe in, like you play or various other things, then don't buy that video game. I think this is a bigger issue here, not just with Unity or Ubisoft in general, it's a bigger problem with pre ordering and the state of video games. Video games are broken now. That's something that we have to expect. You can't just pre-order a game and put faith into a developer at all anymore, except if they have an amazing, amazing pedigree. Like, I would say pre-order CD Projekt Red's new uh, Witcher 3. That's probably a safe bet that that game's going to work well because they are a very tight-knit group that focuses on quality 100% of the time. Do not, if you have any doubt in your mind that this game might not be as good or might not run as you would expect of a video game to run, then do not pre-order it, because pre-ordering is all about faith, and you're all about, and you're giving the money to the developer before they even give you the game. So, it's not helping anyone if you get the game and it's broken, you're helping them. And clearly here, people love the new U Unity and Rogue, according to numbers, but if you go on the internet, everyone's freaking out how bad Unity is and how it was a broken video game. So there's clearly some separation there between opinion and fact. If Ubisoft is making money year after year, more and more money on the Assassin's Creed series, and they keep on releasing broken video games, then they're going to keep on doing their practices. If they if they see people are keep on keeping, keeping on keeping on playing their games and using Uplay, then they're not going to stop you play. It's just as simple as that. Speak with your wallet. That's all I'm saying here. I'm not going to be here say, don't buy any Ubisoft game ever. No, buy Ubisoft games. If you see that on the internet, 
that it runs well. The game is, you know, running decently. It's a not broken video game. Uh, if the servers are not completely down, then pick it up, sure. But you don't have to feel the obligation to pick up a video game day one because the odds are at this point in the video game history right now that it's not going to help you at all. Because the odds are at this point that if you're buying a game video game from a major publisher, the odds are that it might not even run well. It might not even work. The game might not be be, be even playable uh, for you to even like touch. You can't even like play online. Like there are so many negatives for the consumer to pick up a game day one. So just think about it next time you pre-order a video game. I had to do the sad thing, which I walked into GameStop, sixty dollars in my pocket. Arkham Knight's there. My favorite video game of all time is Arkham Asylum. I love Arkham City, and I couldn't get myself to pre-order it just because of all the stuff going on with video games in general and how games are just not working online. Developers that I think I thought I trusted are just not working or not running or not even you know putting out patches for games that are broken like. We need to speak with our wallets, and I'm not saying specifically Ubisoft, I'm not saying specifically EA or even, just think before you purchase something. That's all I'm going to say, and hopefully you guys like that. Hopefully you guys liked what I, or understood what I was trying to say here. Hopefully you understand that I'm not trying to be a jerk to Ubisoft or whatever. But what do you guys think? What do you guys think about Pure, and what do you guys think about anything in general? What do you guys think about my background? Like, look, I have like a Walter White poster now. Uh, I have a Superman poster, and then I have a Django Unchained poster. Yeah, hopefully you like that. Hopefully you like how clean my room is. It's nice. So, uh, bye guys. Oh, okay, focused.